G'day folks, welcome to another tutorial. So last time we were talking about shift instructions and we've got a few more really interesting shift instructions to go through. So shift right double and shift left double. Let me just write that shift right. It's uh, double precision and shift left and double precision. Okay, so these are really strange but let's have a look at the syntax first of all. Um, the first operand for either of them is uh, register or memory. The second operand is a register. And the third operand, it already looks quite weird with three operands, but um, the third operand is immediate or CL. Just like the other shift instructions, this is an 8-bit immediate just here. And the CPU will mask off bits that are too large for the um, shift. Alright, and the other thing is that um, as per usual these two operands, the first two operands have to be the same size but they can also only be 16 bits, whoops, 32 bits or 64 bits. Alrighty, so no 8-bit version. We can't do shift right D, AL, um, DL and then 4 or whatever. You've only got the um, 16, 32 or 64-bit versions of registers or of course a memory operand. OK, let's have a look at exactly what they do. I've got my um, GIMP set up here with a, a slightly higher resolution than before because we're dealing with 16-bit um, numbers this time. So let's use AX and DX, for example. If AX equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. OK, that's AX. If DX equals something like this, Alrighty, so that's AX and that's DX. If we do the instruction shift right, double precision, AX, DX, and let's say 4 for our operand, what's going to happen? Well, for a start, as per usual with these shift instructions, we've got our carry flag over here, which will be the um, last bit shifted out of AX and uh, any further right than the carry flag and these things are discarded so anything in uh, this region here will just be discarded and uh, yeah let's have a look what's going to happen so the CPU sees shift right double precision AX DX and 4 this is what it's going to do okay so for a start that's how AX was at the beginning then um, we shift it right 4 1 2 3, 4, and we end up with that. So what's happened here? Well, we've got um, 1 for the carry flag, not that we care for this particular example. These ones are discarded. See a lot of follows. Um, but the interesting thing is um, what happens over this side. With uh, This is how these instructions differ from regular shifts. Um, what moves into the left is the other operand. It's um, DX in this example, so let's grab him and put him in. Copy and paste. Okay, so DX will be shifted in from this side, 4. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, so that it's up against the um, highest order bit of uh, AX, or the original highest order bit of AX. What in the world have I done? Yeah, there we go. And these bits of DX over here, oh my gosh, are gone. They didn't make the cut, so see you later. And there we have it, folks. That's the uh, final answer in uh, AX. This is what AX is going to equal as a result of this instruction when AX and DX had this. So it's one, and then a bunch of zeros, a couple more ones, etc., etc. Is that strange? I think that's strange. Okay, well we'll rewind a bit and we'll go through what um, a shift left double precision does. Rewind, rewind, right there. Okay, so shul D, we'll use AX and BX again since I've, sorry, AX and DX since I've drawn them off above. Uh, maybe we'll do 5 this time. Why not? Okay, so once again we're shifting um, 
left here, so our carry flag is going to be the last bit shifted out of uh, AX on the left. Let's put CF there. And anything to the uh, left of that is going to be discarded forever. Alright, so this is discard. And what's going to happen? Let's grab AX and have a look. Copy and paste. Okay, so there's AX's initial position, then we shift it uh, left five times, so that's one, two, three, four, and five. Hold on, make that a bit neater. Okay, and we see that our carry flag is set to one. Not that we care. But um, these bits over here have been discarded. All of the bits left of the carry flag. And more importantly, what's come in on the right hand side here? Well, it's none other than our second operand, DX in this case. And he's going to go right there. Okay. So, um, all of these bits, they didn't make it into AX. They're forgotten about. Well, they're still sitting in DX, but. Um, this right here is our final value for AX after this um, shift left double precision AX DX5 strange instructions very strange instructions but um, yeah interesting instructions let's have a look at what they do actually or how you use them okay why would that why <laughs> why would that be useful um, it's useful for packing and unpacking data. Let's have a look at a bit of an example, see if I can um, explain one particular use. I mean, you can use them for whatever you can think of, but um, this is one particular use. So let's say in AX, BX, CX, and DX, we have um, four numbers. We'll just say for the uh, sake of simplicity that they're one, two, three, four. And um, let's also say that um, we happen to be pretty strapped for registers at the moment, so we're in a pretty tight loop right in the middle of it, and we seem to be running out of registers. I don't know what we're doing if we're running out of registers, but um, that's what's happened. So at the moment, we're using um, the whole of RAX to hold on to this little 16-bit value. And likewise, we're using the whole of our BX to hold on to this little 16-bit value here. And um, at the moment, um, AX, BX, CX, and DX, we, it seems anyway, like we don't care about those uh, top bits. So if we want to save these uh, values just here, so that we can um, free up AX, BX, CX, and DX and use them in our algorithm, so we want to save these bits here, but um, we want to save them to a single register. We just want to squash them all into one register. You know, they're only 16 bits each, so um, all four of them will fit into, say, RDI. Let's have a look at how we would squash all of those into RDI. Um, it's pretty simple, really. We go S H R D R D I and um, R A X and what do we say? 16. S H R D R D I R B X 16, S H R D R D I R C X and 16, S H R D R D I R D X and 16. Okay, why does this work? What's happening here? Well, let's assume for a start that um, R D I was blank, or that we didn't care what was in it. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you care what's in R D I, you're probably not going to use it to pack these registers in, but um. Let's have a look. So the first instruction, what it's going to do, if this is RDI just here, um, it's just going to put AX in the very top. And the second instruction, right here, is going to um, push ADX along a bit. Oh, sorry, AX along a bit, and it's going to make a bit of room because then it's going to put in uh, BX beside it. Alrighty, so these are all, um, this is RDI. We don't know what's here, maybe it's zeros or, I don't know, it could be anything. 
RDI equals RDI and equals RDI. Okay, this next instruction, I think you can see the pattern here, it's going to stick uh, AX along a bit more, 16 more bits, it's going to put uh, BX along another 16 bits, and it's going to do that to make room for CX. Okay, and the final one is going to achieve our goal, and that is it's going to stick uh, DX on the left, it's going to put CX, and it's going to have BX, and it's going to have AX. And uh, yeah, right there, we're free. We know that we've saved all of these values for later when we want them, this 1, 2, 3, 4. And we've freed up AX, BX, CX, and DX. And, uh, you know, everything that entails. So we've also got RAX, we've got RBX, RCX. We've got everything that we want. We've um, packed, they call it. We've packed those um, values into uh, RDI. Alrighty, how do we get them back out again? Well, that's pretty easy as well. You use um, shift left double to get them back out. So, um, let's have a look. S H L D this time. Um, we go backwards as well. So R D X and R D I. 16. This is um, not going to touch D I, R D I, but it's going to put um, this D X here back into um, D X right there. So uh, we pretend in here that we did something with the uh, registers. There'd be no point in packing them and straight away unpacking them. But um, the next thing that we've got to do is uh, shift left RDI 16. Okay, so RDI at the moment looks rather like this. This is after this uh, second instruction. It's got CX, it's got BX, and it's got AX, and beside that it's got a zero. Alrighty, and then uh, maybe I'll make some room over here. Maybe I'll run out of room. And then uh, to get CX back again, we do uh, Shift Left D R C X R D I and 16. Then we Shift Left R D I and 16 again, so that by the end of this instruction here, our R D I is looking rather like um, B X and A X going to have a zero here and a zero here, and we've restored DX, it's four, and we've also restored CX, it's three. Um, logically, the next two is going to be SHLD, uh, BX, RDI, and 16, whoops, see daisy, get out of here, and shift left, RDI, and 16, and finally we'll restore our AX with uh, shift left D, R, A, X, RDI and 16, shift left, RDI and 16. So uh, we probably don't need that line really. And yeah, that packs them all in here, packs them all into RDI, and these instructions unpack them all back into their original registers. So um, just a word of warning, the um, SHLD instruction is uh, not particularly quick, so unless you're really strapped for registers, it's probably a better idea to use a couple of simple instructions than uh, the SHLD. But um, if you're really strapped for registers, it's a good way to go. Okay, uh, yeah, that's the end of the um, shift right double and shift left double tutorial. Thank you for listening.